One of the questions that I'll sometimes get asked is, can I mix metals? And the answer is always, yes, absolutely. And actually mixing metals is a really good thing to add some character to your house and give a lot of depth. And it definitely looks like you hired a designer when you can mix metals the right way. But then there's definitely a wrong way to mix metals. And that's when you go way too far with mixing metals. I like to stick to two. I would prefer not to see a kitchen where we have a matte black faucet with gold hardware and a chrome light pendant. That's too much. <laughs> so what we might do is a brushed stainless light fixture and brushed stainless hardware and then we'll do that accent matte black faucet. And that might match the appliances. Maybe they had that, those black appliances. Appliances are something, are a metal that you do have to take into consideration, but sometimes they're, they can be a neutral and you don't have to worry about it. So let's say you have stainless appliances, which I love, I think they're a classic. They're, you're never gonna have to worry about stainless appliances. So you'll have nice stainless appliances and then you love gold. And so we'll put gold hardware, or maybe that's unlacquered brass, brass, whatever you want, one of those tones. So you'll have your hardware in gold. And then I really like doing a brush nickel, brush stainless for the faucet, and that be how you accent. So those brush finishes can match your stainless steel appliances, even if it's a brush nickel. So if you do two, you know you're gonna be perfectly fine. Adding in the third is when it gets really tricky and it has to be in a very subtle way and we have to be really careful about that. But go with two and you'll be good to go. Everybody talks a big game about quality. You're going to love it, it's going to be beautiful. I'm sure that's what everyone says if they're a contractor. Some people show pictures, and you can hide a lot in pictures, especially if they're not high definition. So it really is, quality to me is really tied into trust. And one of the things I tell people about me personally is, I don't like to be embarrassed. You can bring the best, most knowledgeable person in construction, I'm not gonna be embarrassed when they look at our project. And, and I mean every bit of that. And, and I do elaborate on it. I wouldn't be in this business, is what I say, if I couldn't walk away knowing that you think we're great. I said, that raises the bar pretty high for us, doesn't it? It raises your expectation. They say, absolutely. I like to hear that, is what they say. And I mean every bit of it. Why would I set the expectations so high on quality and on service as well, if we couldn't meet it? And and I basically tell them, if we, if I want my company to be this level, the best, and I want you to think of us the best, don't we have to all set that expectation and then hold everybody to it? Mm -hmm.